Welcome to this quick instructional video. I'm just going to go over um, a couple of points about uh, basic HTML structure. If you'd like to follow along, I'm using Visual Studio Code, uh, which is actually available for free, uh, so you're able to download that. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to um, start off by just explaining a couple of the base tag um, and basic structure of HTML. Um, so uh, the first tag I'm going to show you is the doc type tag. Um, so what this essentially does is it defines the document as a HTML5 document. Uh, a lot of the time you'll find that this is added by the browser um, automatically, um, but it, it doesn't hurt actually just to kind of follow a best practice and just add that in. Um, so starting off with the root element, um, you've got the HTML um, tag here. Um, so whenever I refer to tag, um, it's referring to these two entities here. So essentially a tag is anything where it starts off with a less than symbol. You've got the tag name um, and then great, uh, greater than, and then it closes off the tag um, just with a forward slash there. So that'll be the end of the tag. So anything um, inside uh, will be displayed by the browser. And then uh, these tags is what the browser is using to essentially identify what you're actually putting inside. Um, so um, to start off, we've got the head tag. Um, so normally this contains um, a lot of meta information, um, stuff that's used for, or in the past has been used for SEO, um, but it also includes things such as the title uh, tag. So get add that in. Um, and we'll just put here example title. So if I just save on that, um, if you're new to Visual Studio Code, um, so you can just um, go to um, the ellipsis, go to file, new file, um, and then uh, you can just have um, the title example.html. That'll just make you a basic HTML document. It will identify that from the extension. Um, you're then able to just open that in the browser um, and it will then uh, display and read the HTML file. So as you can see here, um, the example uh, title has gone into the tab here. Um, so what the browser is actually doing is reading that title and then it knows that the title of that page is um, what's inside the title tag. Um, so you can see here the, the, the browser has actually filled in the next tag that we're gonna look at, which is the body tag, which contains um, all the information of the page. So if I just add that now. Um, so inside the body tag um, you'll find things such as um, the h tags. Um, so these vary from um, h1 to h6 and essentially what these are are header tags. Um, so the browser will read that as a header. So if I put that this is a header. Um, so if I um, hit save on that um, you'll see that the header uh, will be displayed there. If I go ahead and copy that um, and just use, let's say, H4, um, what that will do is actually just display a smaller type of header. So you could call that, let's say, a subheader. Um, so if we refresh that, uh, we've got the subheader there. Um, the next tag um, that's at the core of ML will be the P tag. Um, so the P tag stands for paragraph. Um, so if I put this is a block of text inside a P tag. So refreshing that you'll see that then we have the paragraph style text just coming there underneath. Um, so essentially that is the um, core core structure of HTML. So you've got a, uh, a doc type declaration and then you've got the HTML um, root element of the page. And then you've got the head, which contains things such as title um, and other things that I'll go over in later tutorials or instructional videos. And then um, you've got the body tag, which then contains um, all the information of the page essentially. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out um, for other 
um, videos, I'm going to go over just um, basically everything I can go over. Um, but for this one, that's it. <laughs>